For the past five days, I have barely been in this van. I have not slept in here. I have not been hanging out in here, but we're back. I'm leaving Nashville now and I'm heading to Memphis. So let's get going. A little break at Love's because that is a very flat and straight, kind of boring road. And I just need my brain to reactivate. So I knew that drive was going to be really flat, really straight, but I really underestimated how boring that would be. <laughs> Anyway, I just made it to Memphis a little bit ago. Uh, gonna head into the gym. That's cool. Super excited because I'm getting new tires today. I don't know when the last time the tires are changed so it's nice that I got them changed now peace of mind they'll last a while I think maintenance is really important you know especially if you're doing van life driving a lot and with the added fact that this is an older car with a lot of mileage on it it's a gift from my godfather so thank you Milton if you're seeing this so while I'm in Memphis I'm staying in this huge bass row shops parking lot. It is shaped like a pyramid. <laughs> and I wasn't even planning on going inside, but my friends in Nashville were like, it's kind of cool inside, so I'm gonna go check it out. That was an experience. Also something weird I've been noticing about Memphis, every single parking lot I've been in has security driving around, which is fine, but it's just like, I don't know if I should be worried or not. <laughs> um, but so far, so good. So I guess this is the week of like car maintenance because my oil light was flashing a little bit and driving yesterday. So I'm going to check and see if I need an oil change. Those results were not easy to read, <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway because the oil light flashing is not a good sign. Car's at the mechanic, so let's see what they say. This in here. Keep records of all the service y'all get done. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I haven't really talked about this because it was a situation that was making me nervous, but when I was driving, there was like this rattling noise. Cue the clip. And it was mainly happening um, when I was accelerating. It just like started out of nowhere. Sometimes I'd hear it when I was idling in park, idling in drive. It was happening more and more. And it was making me really nervous. I was like, what's going on? The oil light started coming on and off. So I was like, okay, probably time for an oil change. We're gonna do that today. And while that's going on, might as well figure out why that noise is happening. Turns out that noise is happening because I was really, really low on oil. I know you're supposed to do it every like 5,000 miles. I've been keeping that in mind. Last time I got an oil change was 3,000 miles ago. So I guess I just need to get it done more often and you know, pay attention more to it. I'm glad that was the issue though, because yeah, I was really worried there. So while I was doing my research on what barbecue spots to hit up in Nashville, 
A lot of people were saying, just go to Memphis. One of my friends recommended me a spot in Germantown. I think I went to the right place. It's called Germantown Commissary. I got my order to go. You can also eat there if you'd like. I got a brisket sandwich plate, which comes with this sandwich. Beans, deviled egg and coleslaw. Barbecue sauce. Let me show you this real quick. I'll try this deviled egg first. It seems to get mixed reviews. I like that. It's good. And then I guess this is the coleslaw. I'm not a big coleslaw fan, so it's okay. These beans, I think I'll like. I really like. What do you call these kind of beans? Baked beans? Mmm. Gosh. Brisket sandwich. I don't have typical American barbecue, like ever, but I'd say that's pretty good. I'm gonna do some real sightseeing here in Memphis. So I'm heading further into downtown. I could walk, because it's like only 20 minutes away, but honestly, I don't know if I really wanna be walking around Memphis. It's not like, I don't know. Driving in Memphis has been terrible. There's like trolley tracks everywhere. The roads are just terrible quality. Pothole central, and they're just not paved great. There's so much construction down everywhere. It's annoying. The roads are just really bad quality. Like, really bad. Oh, garage full. Okay. Ooh, parking. I think I found a parking garage. Let's park over. Oh. No, I don't want to park there. How about this spot over here? Yeah. Okay. Parked. So the Peabody ducks weren't even on my radar until they were recommended to me by my Nashville friends. The ducks were brought into the hotel many, many years ago as sort of a drunken joke and just kind of stuck around. Now they have this whole ceremony twice a day, 11 and 5, bringing the ducks into the fountain and then bringing them back out to their little palace. <laughs> After I left the hotel, I went to walk down Beale Street and I just came straight back to my car. It's kind of weird walking around, not gonna lie. It just has like, Memphis has weird vibes. It's just like super quiet. How many people around? It's nighttime, I checked out Beale Street. It's kind of early still and it's a Thursday, so it wasn't too lively at all, but I just wanted to see everything with the lights on. And I did step into a bar and there was like a band playing some blues music, so that was pretty cool. Last day in Memphis, I'm not doing much. Honestly, kind of over this city and I am very ready to move on. So tomorrow I'm crossing into a new state, completely new. Like I've never been to this state ever. And it's also a new state on this van life journey. So that's also super fun. You can go ahead and guess, but you'll see in my next video where I go. Thank you guys so much for watching this one and I'll see you next week. Bye.